on Daybreak. The area known as Tornado Alley could be changing, and Indiana looks to be right in the middle of it. A new study suggests that the heart of Tornado Alley is shifting closer to the Midwest. Joe Melillo is joining us live. You talked with an expert about this, Joe. I did talk to that expert, and he says that climate change could be the reason why we're seeing a shift in Tornado Alley. Is Indiana part of that? Well, according to that new study, the answer is yes. The new study from the Journal of Climate and Atmospheric Science found that over the last few decades, U.S. tornadoes have been shifting. The number of tornadoes have decreased in Tornado Alley states like Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas, but are moving towards Indiana. Now, it sees a slight decrease in activity in the Great Plains as well, but the study found increasing tornadoes in Alabama, Arkansas, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Louisville, Mississippi, Missouri. Uh, you get the point. Gabe Filippelli, an earth science professor from IUPUI, looked at that study and says it is concerning to see the shift. Think about the Great Plains states, lightly populated, not a lot of big urban centers, and this is moving right into an area with Chicago, Indianapolis, St. Louis, so big cities with a lot of people. So that means the loss, potential loss of life and property increases substantially. The string of tornadoes are dominated by this mixture of warm, air, of warm wet air and cold dry air, and it, that interface, that boundary, is just shifting uh, eastward. It's either from a natural phenomenon or, as the article points out, likely related to climate change. Yeah, researchers are calling the new area Dixie Alley, which is an eastward extension of the traditional tornado alley. Even if the decline is being shown, Texas still gets the most tornadoes out of any state. For more information, head to wishtv.com. On wishtv.com, in this story, I put not only this study, but also the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration Storm Prediction Center data, which that study used to make this conclusion. But interesting stuff nonetheless, and the pictures are definitely interesting as well. Back to you guys. Absolutely, Joe. Thank you.